How do you split a DAC? There you go. Done. See you tomorrow. <laughs> whack, whack, whack. Okay. All right. Sorry. Enough foolishness. Um, this question comes from Tin. I guess I'm in a silly mood. Uh, in Philadelphia, pa Pennsylvania. Hi, Paul. I have a shit fula. Don't you love saying that? It's like, I could give a shit if I wanted to get somebody over here. The <laughs> For those of you that don't know, S-C-H-I-I-T. <laughs> yeah, so Mike Moffat and, and Jason Stoddard, a uh, couple, of, couple of great guys. Anyway, they own a company that does very, very good sounding products at, at affordable prices. Anyway, Paul, do you love it? I have a shit full of two. Got it? Full of shit? Okay. Uh, it's a headphone amp that has an unamplified DAC output that I use for my speaker amp. I'd like to split that output to a second amplifier, but I've heard that using Y splitters audibly decreases the fidelity. Is that true, and how should I approach my dilemma? Now that you give a shit, right? <laughs> I, you know, we've been through this before, and it's probably worth repeating. There's nothing wrong with Y connectors. Do they degrade the sound? Yeah, they do. A, a little bit, but look, you're, I mean, I, I, I admire what the guys, what, what uh, Jason and, and Mike do over there, but it's not the highest end stuff. I mean, come on, there's, there are hundreds of dollars there, and, and, and we've said more times than I care to remember, price does not define quality, but to some extent, it certainly has an impact on it. What defines quality is great design, right? But at some point, you only have so much to put into parts. And when that's the case, you're not going to get the performance that you might get out of one of, one of our DACs over here. I mean, because what, $300 versus $6,000? Yeah, I mean, not gonna get it. But even on our more expensive DAC, a splitter is not the end of the world and I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. So let me tell you something else. When you design a preamp, a DAC, let's, we're on DACs, all right, so let's take a DAC. And you look at a fancy DAC, so on the back of it, you've got your outputs, right? And you'll see there's an XLR, there's an RCA, great. Now some DACs have two outputs, double, double outputs you'll have, two XLRs for the left channel, two for the right channel, two RCAs and, and for the left and two for the right. How do you think they did that? There aren't two separate amplifiers inside. <clears throat> Guess what they did? They wide them together. We do it all the time. I and mean, that's just how it's done. So you have one output from your amplifier. Typically, it's maybe a PC board mounted jack and the output of that, that internal amplifier goes straight to that jack out into the world. If you want to add a second jack, you just PC mount, if it's a PC mount or if it's wired, same thing. You just wire it on the board. So the only real difference between what makes people feel comfortable because, well, I've got, you know, the manufacturer's already figured it out. Got one here, got one there. It's got to be great. Mm, it's just wired together. We have short lengths. We've taken our time to make sure it's done properly. So the best advice I have for you is go ahead with the Y. Just get a good Y connector. Make sure the connectors themselves are high quality. Make sure they're short and that somebody took some care in building it. Don't just go buy the cheapest piece of crap off Amazon. Find something decent and you'll be just fine. So there's a little secret for you. That's how manufacturers make you comfortable with multiple outputs. But in fact, they're just wide together with very little difference than what you would do if you had it. I mean, you're skipping an extra connector and all that stuff, but let's not get too crazy, okay? Go for the why. All right, talk to you later, bye.